Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. I hope everybody's doing well. Folks, I'm going to keep saying it every time I come on here. Jesus is coming, and Jesus is coming one day very, very, very soon. Folks, the story I want to share with you today, it's insane. Folks, the things that we are seeing right now, it is straight up as it was in the days of Noah and as it was in the days of Lot. Sin is being celebrated and even promoted in certain churches. Good is being called evil and evil is being called good. And what our kids are being brainwashed with right now, no wonder our world is, uh, no wonder the world, our world is the way it is right now. You know, it reminds me of what the Apostle Paul records in the book of Romans chapter 1 verses 28 to 32. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. Folks, I think it's safe to say this is happening right now. People love doing these things. They're having pleasure in doing them. Like it says in Romans 1.32 again, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. But this story, it is disturbing, but should, it not, should not surprise us because we are living as it was in the days of Noah and as it was in the days of Lot. So I just got this alert from on my phone from Fox News. Church-sponsored, a church-sponsored LGBTQ pride event promotes kids' activities and drag shows. I mean, you're starting to see stories like this almost every day in certain parts of the world, but listen to this. A church-sponsored LGBTQ pride event in Kentucky is advertising kids' activities, kids, and drag shows in the state's capital this weekend. Capital Pride Kentucky is hosting a festival on Saturday at the Old Capitol Lawn in Frankfurt, where children can partake in activities like jewelry making and a scavenger hunt. Scavenger hunt. Banners advertising the event posted on the LGBTQ group's Facebook page list a number of activities for the attendees, including drag shows, vendor fair, kids' activities, entertainment, food and beer, and fun for everyone. According to Capital Pride Kentucky's website, Saturday's event is sponsored by at least three churches. So at least three churches are sponsoring this, including drag shows, which kids will get to see. Um, Bridgeport Christian Church, Church in Frankfurt, First Christian Church in Lawnsburg, Lawrenceburg, and South Frankfurt, Pre South Frankfurt Presbyterian Church. Wow. Three churches are sponsoring this, and it is a event that is going to promote LGBTQ community and whatnot, but also drag shows for that kids will be able to watch. Uh, folks, this shouldn't surprise us. I had, when I saw this, I'm like, how much more clear can it be we're living as it was in the days of Noah and as it was in the days of Lot? We're living in the end times. Good is being called evil. Evil, evil is being called good. Sin is being celebrated. Uh, and even promoted in the church. Jesus is coming soon. If you're not saved, you need to get saved. You're running out of time. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven, and he's the only name that can save you. He loves you, and he loves you so much. But you need to believe. You need to believe what he did for you on the cross. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin that, that you can never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross. So you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. So believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried, and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now, because tomorrow is not promised, and Jesus is coming soon. But that's where we are right now, folks. 
Again, we have another three churches sponsoring a LGBTQ event this coming weekend where kids are going to get to be there. And one of the things that these three churches that sponsored it are, are going to be about, it's uh, drag shows. That's where we are right now, folks. Jesus said that the last days would be like this. Shouldn't surprise us. Uh, but keep looking up. Jesus is coming soon. God bless you guys.